Blake Vaught used to create magic tricks for famous magicians like David Copperfield and David Blaine. He has contributed his expertise to the Hollywood movie Now You See Me, which is a magic-based film. Also, all of the magic you see Paul Rudd perform in Marvel's Ant-Man and the Wasp was actually performed by Paul because Blake taught him. Today, we are going to witness a spectacular magic act performed by magician Blake Vaught. We will also uncover the secrets behind this amazing magic. If you enjoy the video, be sure to show your support by liking it. In this act, magician Blake Vogt first approaches the judges and spreads out cards in front of Judge Simon. Simon is asked to choose a card, and he points towards a card, which turns out to be the Ten of Clubs. Blake then takes the chosen card in his hand and tears a corner off. However, when he shows his hands, there is no torn piece of the card. After this, Blake gestures towards the card box on the table and asks Heidi to open it. When the box is opened, a card piece matching the torn card exactly falls out. This leaves everyone astonished. There you go. Pretty cool. Now, Blake announces that after the card's teleportation, he will perform the disappearing act on himself. He moves to the stage where a scissor lift is set up. Blake ascends the scissor lift and declares that he will vanish, emphasizing that he can only make himself disappear and not the clothes he's wearing. After raising a curtain, he starts removing his clothes one by one. When the curtain falls, it appears that Blake hasn't vanished, but is wearing a costume that perfectly blends with the background, creating a camouflage effect. Everyone is left amused, thinking it was a playful trick. But the very next moment, Blake raises the curtain again. And this time, when the curtain falls back down, Blake is truly gone. Not just that, Blake teleports away and appears next to his girlfriend. But how? How does the torn corner of the card disappear and teleport into the box? How does the magician vanish and teleport to another location? Now we will uncover the secret behind this magic. Before that, if you enjoyed Blake Vogt's amazing magic act, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more magic reveals. Now let's find out the secret behind this magic. In this act, Blake spreads the cards in front of Judge Simon and asks him to choose one. Simon points towards a card which turns out to be the Ten of Clubs. Blake then tears the corner of the card and holds it in his left hand. However, when he opens his left hand, there's nothing in it. In reality, Blake doesn't actually tear the corner of the card. He just creates the illusion of doing so. To have Simon choose a specific card, Blake uses the force selection technique. This means that no matter which card Simon thinks he's choosing, it will always turn out to be the Ten of Clubs. How does he do it? Let's understand this carefully. Blake spreads the cards in front of Simon. In reality, the bottom card of this deck is the Ten of Clubs. Blake, with great cunning, slyly slides the bottom Ten of Clubs card into his right hand before spreading the cards. Simon chooses a card by pointing with his finger, which is a random card. However, as you already know, the Ten of Clubs card is cleverly positioned at the very bottom of Blake's right hand. When Blake squares up the cards, he smoothly slides the Ten of Clubs card beneath the card chosen by Simon. This way, no matter which card Simon points to, Blake reveals the Ten of Clubs creating the illusion that Simon selected it randomly. This Ten of Clubs card has another special feature. In reality, the corner of this Ten of Clubs card is already torn, and that torn piece is pre-placed in the box on the table. That's why, as you can see, Magician Blake holds the card in a way that the torn corner is not visible to anyone. After that, Blake simply acts as if he is tearing the corner, and then he asks Heidi to open the box on the table. Now you know how the torn corner piece appeared in the box. Blake then moves on to his next act of teleportation and goes to the stage where a scissor lift is set up. Blake climbs onto the scissor lift, raises the curtain, and begins to undress. When the curtain falls, he appears to be wearing a special costume. 
After that, he lifts the curtain once again. And when it falls this time, Blake is nowhere to be seen, seemingly teleporting to his girlfriend in the gallery. In reality, Blake doesn't teleport. It's a clever setup. The lift that Blake ascends has a large hollow space underneath. And Blake's assistant is already hidden there in the costume before Blake gets on the lift. When the curtain is first lifted and Blake starts undressing, at that moment, the hidden assistant from the compartment below takes Blake's place. Meanwhile, Blake descends and goes to his girlfriend in the gallery. If you notice, Blake is wearing dark clothes and the background behind is also black. The stage lights from behind are used strategically, allowing Blake to blend in and discreetly make his way out. So, when the curtain is lifted again, you now know that it's the assistant who descends back into the compartment below. And if you look at this curtain now, you can see that the assistant is holding it with his hand, but now you can notice that the assistant has descended into the compartment below, and the curtain is held in place by a structure. Once inside, the assistant pulls a rope to close the structure, and the curtain descends. This way, there is no one behind the curtain on the lift, and now you also know that Blake has already gone up to the gallery. When he reappears in front of everyone, they are astonished, but now you too know the secret behind this magic. We work hard to bring you such videos, so please make sure to like the video. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications for all upcoming videos.